This is a short video I decided to do on OBS as I've been using this um, for a little while now and I just thought I wanted to uh, go through some uh, tips that I uh, found using it. Um, uh, so, so this is what it would look like um, uh, blank or by default uh, except there would be one more audio thing just there which is there um, this is what I'm actually using right now by the way but I'll put that back to the monitor and this one here is uh, something I stripped down just to look like it was um, default uh, so so I got a video here um, and I'm just gonna like uh, kind of pretend to record that uh, with this um, so, uh, so I'll just play a little bit of the video. Uh, so it's got video and audio and, um, there is also, uh, there is also uh, the microphone as well. So it depends what you want to record. So you can record, uh, a couple of things. You can record the, uh, the desktop video, you can record the microphone, and you can also record what's coming from uh, uh, the screen, uh, so the desktop video. So if you want to get the desktop video, which is the audio from this video, you need to go to Audio Output Capture. So we'll go and create it here uh, for a source. Uh, and so we'll do that, but we'll do that just in a second. So before doing all that, um, I go through these settings and there's a couple of things you should really change, uh, at least I found, especially, uh, especially the video, which is here. So when I first started using this, um, I had it on the default settings and the video looked pretty bad uh, the, and that was because of the recording quality here. Uh, the recording format, uh, if you want to make a video for YouTube, uh, they seem to like MP4, so I use MP4. Um, as far as MP4 is concerned, I think high quality is okay, but um, I use at least indistinguishable or loss or even lossless. It's really not as, not always as at least as bad as they say. So you can play around with that for yourself, like record a video, see how big it is, and just uh, make that decision. So I usually change uh, change these two to that. Um, hit apply. Uh, I usually change the sample rate. The sample rate starts by default at uh, 44.1 kilohertz but I usually change it to 48 kilohertz. I also uh, tend to um, synchronize it uh, so here I usually go uh, and ch make sure that's 48 kilohertz uh, uh, yeah 48 kilohertz uh, as well so I usually synchronize them. Uh, there's also the microphone um, as well. So um, I mean, I'm, I don't. This isn't really my field, but anyway, I just uh, I kind of I don't know if it does anything, but I usually synchronize that as well. Whether it works or not, I don't really know. Downscaling and all that stuff, but so I do that. <coughs> um, so put that there and uh, this is another thing um, I mean computer processors and stuff probably would be able to do bicubic pretty easy so I usually change the down s sampling uh, filter type and the stuff uh, to the best because well why not um, usually change that to 1920 so it doesn't have to downscale. Uh, this will be the output of the video, so if you put it on YouTube or something and you had it at uh, 1096 by 616, then 
you know, that's what it would be on YouTube. Uh, unless they uh, upscale it or something like that, I don't know. But, so I usually change... Uh, usually change those things there, so definitely this, that's something you really want to change. Um, that seems to be good, uh, and that as well. So I usually do that, so say we want to record this video, um, we're going to need, so we will go to the audio output capture, and that'll be the, that will be, uh, what comes from your speakers, or what's going to your speakers, sorry, so the audio will come from this, it'll go to your speakers, and that's what you want to capture. So, uh, so that's all good. Um, you also want uh, display capture. So we'll go and we'll set that to display one, and um, we'll set it to capture. So that's pretty easy, that just stays there, don't have to bother about it worry about it. Um, then you got uh, then you got the audio input capture and that's your microphone so we'll do this where we'll use microphone and so now we've got a microphone so basically that's it there uh, as I talk uh, that's the monitor uh, telling you the telling you the levels of it. Um, I'll just so the audio output camera uh, captures the speakers. Mic aux is default sound blaster uh, microphone, which it is. So that's all good. Um, the other thing is uh, you got to synchronize these. So I can't really get much audio out of the uh, out of the. Um, the microphone, uh, at least on this one. Um, uh, so, so I can't really change that. So what we'll do is we'll have that to full. Um, and so I'll just go through uh, like the levels here, the recording levels. Um, so what I'll do is I'll play this video. Um, so I'll just start running this on a loop. So that'll be looping. I'll turn it down just a little bit so you can hear that at the same time. Uh, that's on my recorder. So it's running on a loop. And this is basically what you want to do here. So say, say that's louder. Um, I will go and find this. And that's the problem there. So you don't really want... You don't really want too much red there, so you want to synchronize this. Um, and you basically want it roughly about there. So I find like a uh, yellow maybe roughly about there. But um, every very so often you get like a really rare loud noise. So if that gets in the red, you know, that's not good, but it, it's okay because you still want this roughly in a good area so roughly there but very rarely any further like it's like an accident sometimes it happens but sometimes it doesn't um but generally it's roughly about there um the other thing you have to know is uh if you have this active and you have that active at the same time it's going to be real it's uh you get like a feedback effect, so you have to turn that off. Um, obviously, we got the microphone going uh, as well as the audio output capture. This is a video I took of uh, the aquarium in Sydney, Australia. And um, for the most part, that's about it. So if you wanted to record, you just hit start recording there. I won't because I'm using, I have two instances of OBS and I have no idea what's going to happen. So uh, just hit start recording uh, and then that will change the stop recording, hit stop recording. 
you be able to find your videos um, wherever that says. And um, and I think that's about it. So I will play this video through and uh, good luck with OBS.